Good morning. Before we uh, start the formal session, let me make a couple of uh, administrative announcements. If you happen to have a cell phone or other electronic device, we'd appreciate if you would disable it for uh, convenience of the people so they're not interrupted. And then if you'd like to address the trust, uh, outside there are sign-up sheets. If you would please sign up uh, at the appropriate time, you'll be called on. There's also an opportunity to talk at the end of the council in general. And again, we'd appreciate it if you'd sign up. Uh, with that being said, let's call the meeting to order of the December 19th, 2019 Oklahoma City Airport Trust. First on our agenda is to approve the minutes of the November 21st, 2019 Oklahoma City Airport Trust meeting. We have a motion to approve the minutes. In a second, any comments or questions? Please cast your votes. And it is done. Director's report, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I do have a report regarding air service this morning. Uh, Karen Carney sent out a press release, and I just want to read some portions of it. Uh, this morning, American Airlines launched its new nonstop service that we've talked about from Oklahoma City to Miami International Airport. Miami is one of American Airlines' gateway to the Caribbean and Latin America, and it also provides customers with convenient connections to dozens of warm weather destinations. Now that we're into winter, you may look forward to that. Uh, this new service clearly raises the level of service and options for our travelers uh, here in the Oklahoma City area, and we appreciate Americans' commitment to Oklahoma City. The new service will operate daily, utilizing the Embraer 175 aircraft. This has 12 first-class seats and 64 main cabin seats. Other amenities are no middle seats, which is, which is a big deal, uh, large overhead bins, and wider seats and aisles. Miami becomes the eighth American hub served nonstop from Will Rogers. Other cities served by American from Will Rogers is Dallas-Fort Worth, Chicago, Charlotte, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, Phoenix, and Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. Uh, this brings our new uh, average daily departures uh, or, or non-stops to uh, 21 that we serve out of Will Rogers. Uh, for the arrival and departure times, uh, there are time to facilitate international connections, so you have to get up early to go to Miami. It departs at 5.22 a.m. and arrives in Miami at 9.21 and then departs Miami at 9.42 and arrives at 12.23 a.m. So you may book at aa.com. That's my report. Thank you, sir. Uh, next up, then, we're ready for Will Rogers World Airport. Under Will Rogers, item A is to approve amendment number two to our contract with Kim Lee Horn and Associates. This is for the expansion of the fleet storage area at the rental car center. It's an increase of $300,200. Item B is approve amendment number three to the contract with Crossland Heavy Contractors to rehabilitate the terminal access roadway, an increase of $26,936.15. Item C is approved change order number one to our contract with Libra Electric Company for the medium voltage transformer replacement and radar antenna lab feed project, increase of $6,471.75. D is approving change order one to the contract with Libra Electric Company for the hangar eight and nine electrical upgrades project, increase of $11,880.88. Item E is approved change order number one to the contract with ATEC Paving to, uh, for the construction of the new cell phone waiting lot. It's an increase in an estimated amount of $20,900. Item F is approved change order number nine to the contract with Timberlake Construction Company. This is for the terminal renovation and expansion project, an increase of $251,407.09. Item G is approved the plans and project manual submitted by the small group for the Hangar 8 Heating System Replacement Project, authorize the advertisement for bids to be opened on January the 29th. Item H is approve the request for proposals for airport taxi cab and shuttle concession services at Will Rogers, authorization for the advertisement of the proposals to be opened on January 22nd. Item I is adopt the resolution uh, authorizing the uh, airport trust to purchase year two of the post initial warranty period for software and hardware maintenance services from Ski Data Incorporated in the amount of $105,987.86. Item J is adopt the resolution declaring four heavy duty medium voltage constant current regulators and two Caterpillar medium voltage 
generators to be surplus to the needs of the trust, authorize the chairman to execute the release, and uh, authorize the director to this, dispose of the equipment. And last item K is to receive the consultant review committee report for the solicitation for the rehabilitation and reconstruction of runway 13 and 31 and authorize negotiation of an agreement with MacArthur Associated Consultants, LLC. Those are the items under Will Rogers. You've heard the items under Will Rogers. What are the desires of the trustees? We have a motion and a second to approve. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, please cast your votes. And it is approved. Next up, lease and other agreement. Uh, General. Under general, uh, I'm asking you to receive the delinquent accounts receivable report. And I might note that even though the trust is meeting a week earlier than normal, uh, the delinquent report is only $7,583. So great job to accounting for doing that. Uh, also, the construction project status report as of December 19th and the budget to actual report as of November the 30th. And B is to receive the Oklahoma City uh, Department of Airports comprehensive annual financial report. This is for the fiscal year ended June 30. And I do have a few comments related to this one just to give you an idea how we did last fiscal year. Uh, we increased our net position $18.6 million, which is about 12%. Uh, uh, so we had a very good year. Our uh, expenses uh, only went up about 3% and our revenues went up almost 7%. So that was good as well. And recently, as you know, we are uh, refunding the rental car center bonds and we had meetings with rating agencies. And I think it's noteworthy that Standard & Poor's reaffirmed our bond rating as A plus affirmed and Moody's actually upgraded us, which is huge for the airport trust from A2 to A1. Um, so again, a very good year for the airport and I uh, just want to make a few comments on that to point the highlights to that. And I thank uh, the accounting staff for putting that together. I will tell you, Tara and her staff did a great job, and they have been shorthanded for many months. So it was really a heavy lift. So you guys did it and did it on time. So thank you very much. Those are the items under general. You've heard the items under general. What are the desires of the trustees? Motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. A and a second. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, please cast your votes. And it is so ordered. Next up, please and other agreements. Item A is to approve the professional management services agreement between the airport trust and ABM Aviation. This is for the airport public parking facilities and airport shuttle bus operation. And we're also accepting a performance bond. Item B is to approve supplement lease agreement number 11 with the Transportation Security Administration. We're amending the agreement to provide for the trust modifications to some of the government's lease premises and upon completion, they will reimburse uh, of an amount of $29,737.65. Item C is approving the contract with Artisan Window Cleaning to provide window cleaning services at Will Rogers World Airport uh, beginning January 1, $66,280. Item D is approved supplement number one to renew the RSI net service agreement for one year under the same terms and condition for $720 annually. Item E is approving amendment number one to the lease and operations agreement with Private Jets Incorporated. We're allowing them to uh, operate under a trade name, Jet Set FBO. We're also extending the construction period to February 27th of 2020 at Wiley Post. Item F is to approve supplement number 11 to the lease agreement with PWA Incorporated. We're amending certain requirements of ownership of certain units. And item G is approve assumption agreements and use guarantees for the conveyance of a couple of tea hangers, uh, unit 2106 from Brad and Jan Larson Living Trust to the Engineers Flying Club, and also unit 2108 from Edwin and Jan Larson to the Engineers Flying Club. Those are all the leases and other agreements, Mr. Chair. You've heard the leases and other agreements. We have a motion to approve. Second. A second. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, please cast your votes. And it's so done. And item seven is to request approval of the requisitions, please. You've heard item seven. Motion to approve. And a second. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, please cast your votes. And it is so done. We're now at the point for uh, comments from trustees. David. Mark, it appears that the patrons have been able to work through the uh, construction out at the airport without much difficulties. Is that your assessment? Oh, yes, sir. I mean, right. I will tell you that we had 
probably half a dozen meetings with the contractor prior to starting that project, and it was all about traffic control. And since the project started on September 30th, John, September 30th, we have continually tweaked that. And uh, I will tell you that uh, it's working beautifully, and we are on top of it, and it is a lot torn up. We, we don't take that lightly. Uh, but we made it through Thanksgiving, and with the good weather, we'll make it through Christmas. Uh, we know there's more winter weather to come, but we're prepared for it, and we're going to do our level best to keep it all open. Yes, sir. Any other comments from trustees? Seeing none, any comments from staff? No egging the crowd on, please. <laughs> All right. Seeing none, uh, any citizens wishing to be heard? Anybody signed up? No, sir. Nobody has signed up. Anybody here from citizenry that would like to make a comment or ask a question? Again, seeing none, thank you for coming. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We are adjourned. Thank <laughs> you.